Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I am. Si oh, you guys, can you hear me? For those of you who are live, it might be a little loud. Um, everyone here in the bowling center has joined us. We do have some special announcements. For those of you who don't know me, I am Sarah French. I am the president of the Indiana Bowling Centers Association. It's an honor to be here with all of you today. Um, I can't tell you how excited I am to see all of you young athletes out here bowling. And I've followed you all season long, as so many of us have, and we're so proud of all of you. Um, a couple announcements. We have a lot of the Indiana Bowling Centers Association board here today to support you, so I would like to recognize those members here. We have Bob Gudorf, who has been on the board since 1912, um, a longtime member. We are very grateful to have him here. In all seriousness, he has been in the bowling industry for almost a little over 50 years, right, Bob? Um, and he is part of what makes Indiana Bowling so special. We also have Jason Freidenberg, proprietor and past president. We have Chuck Kane, also from the 1912 era, who's proprietor and longtime board member. I don't want to forget anybody. We also have um, Zach Carey, who has been your MC today. Zach, thank you so much for all you do. Hall of Famer Mike Albee from Arrowhead Bull. Mr. Scott Devers from Arrowhead Bull. And Mr. Steve Kunkel, who we all know and love. And I do want to shout out, give a shout out to all of our volunteers and our coordinators and Storm Bowling and everyone who has made this possible, including Savage bowling for doing the live stream and everything that they've done and put into this and Dave Small the proprietor here at um, Pro Bowl West so if we could give all of those volunteers and people a round of applause that would be great. <laughs> Scott? Well thank you all and, and good morning. Today's competition will wrap up 22 years that Indiana High School Bowling was formed as a statewide program. None of the championships or heartbreak losses would have been possible without the vision, drive, and hard work that Commissioner Steve Kunkel has put forth. Over the years, Steve grew the program to its height of over 200 participating schools with well over 400 teams. Tens of thousands of Indiana high school students have been able to enjoy the rivalries and competition. Although the program is still a club sport in the eyes of many, with Steve Kunkel's leadership, it has become one of the leading programs in the nation. Today, our announcement comes with bittersweet feelings. After a lot of personal reflection, Steve, with his wife Cindy, will retire June 30th, 2021. As a token of our appreciation for his dedicated service, we have a crystal award that states... Steve, we would like to honor all of your time that you've dedicated and your work to create, build, and support the Indiana High School Bowling Program. You have spent your years mentoring youth bowlers, coaches, and coordinators while growing a competitive high school program. So many of us have been fortunate to experience that with you, and we've watched you grow and put your blood, sweat, and tears into all of this. And <laughs> I can't smile. You're going to make me cry. Um, and we're going to, and now I am going to cry, and we're going to cherish those moments and memories forever. And I believe so many in this room, and I look at all of these young bowlers out there and how much you've influenced and impacted their life. And I can assure you, even me, we will miss you very much. So we'd like to present you with this award. Thank you. I mean, that's, I want to just start at the top of my list. Uh, I don't want to take a lot of time because that's not what you're here for. But first, I want to thank my wife, Cindy. Uh, Sarah's mentioned she has been the behind the scenes support for the last 15 years. Uh, those nasty letters you coordinators get that you don't have information in, those all come from her. She's my, <laughs> she's my staff and she's one of those at checking. 
I also want to thank my brother Stan and my family. My start at the bowling center in Bluffton, but without Stan stepping up and taking over so I could get out and do this, yeah, I wouldn't have been here. Uh, another one that I don't know if I want to thank or to blame, she's mentioned Chuck Kane. 25 years ago or so, he asked me if I wanted to be on the state board. I asked what it was, and he lied to me, and I said yes. But that's what this developed into uh, from that invitation by Chuck. Uh, in our early years, back in 99, 2000, when we first started, Heather Emmons was the executive director for the IBCA. Her and Jim Doty from Indianapolis helped me spearhead get this thing going. Without their help, it wouldn't be. Uh, after that, Mark Schock from Indianapolis, he was our MC for this event. Uh, whenever I had questions, Mark was my go-to guy. And now the last several years, it's been Scott. Whenever I have questions, and I don't burn his ears up, but Scott's my go-to guy. So I'm leaving this in good hands. My only regret, if there's a regret, that we didn't make ISHA like Sarah had mentioned. So my goal, my vision for you carrying on, work together, make it happen, we would profit, I think, with ISHA. There's some downside, but I see a lot more upside. Okay? We good? Thank you. We're not done yet. We're good, but we're not done. As well, we are unveiling the Steve Kunkel Sportsmanship Scholarship. It will be awarded annually to a girl and boy who exemplify traits like winning with dignity, losing with grace, respecting the game, embracing their team, and having a work ethic sec second to none, both on and off the lanes. Steve's legacy will continue in 2022 with the inaugural Steve Kunkel Sportsmanship Scholarship. Congratulations, Steve. Again, all I can say is thank you. Thank you all. Without you guys, I mean, I'm up here, but you guys made it happen. Thanks, and good luck. And we're not finished yet. Steve's shoes will not be easily filled, but after vetting process, we are proud to announce that Brian Petrie will assume commissioner of high school bowling and middle school bowling programs effective July 1st. Brian has had many years. Yep. <laughs> Brian's had many years of experience as a bowler, coach, conference coordinator, and the administrator of Indiana State USBC Youth Tournament. When uh, you add Brian's energy and experience to the fantastic program Steve has built, you can rest assured Indiana will continue to be one of the premier high school bowling programs in the country. Please welcome Brian Petrie. I'll be like Sarah. I will probably cry a little bit, So, but it's all because... I flat out do this for you kids. Ten years ago, I'd ask, I got asked to be a coach. So coaches, I've been in your shoes. I know the struggles of getting in schools and getting participation and getting recognition just for your kids, just so they can get that acknowledgement. I then became a coordinator, and I saw the struggles of dealing with you coaches. <laughs> just kidding. But all the while, for the last ten years, I've done nothing but Love these kids, love to see them succeed. Um, I can flat out tell you, I'm looking around the crowd and I see, yep, I know you, yep, I know you, yep, I know you, and a lot of hays and highs. All I can say is, is that Steve and this organization has built a great program. All I'm trying to do is just guide that ship and lead it into the 2020s and, and see what I can do and do my best to get into the schools and keep growing this program. That's the best thing I can do for you guys. If there's anything I can ever do, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I probably won't respond. I'll do like Sarah. You said you just put my emails into a, I'm just kidding. No, you're fine. You know that I'm always there. Constantly coaches uh, hit me up, ask me for questions. I want to be there for you guys. Um, for nothing else, I'll wrap it up with this. Steve, thank you for everything. Um, it took a great man to ask me to be coordinator, Tom Staten, who passed away, unfortunately. He gave me the reins as a conference. 
I'll try not to uh, screw it up and be uh, the pain in the butt coordinator that you've had to deal with. So thank you for everything you've done, and I will do my best to uh, carry on your, uh, your guidance in the way the program was won. So thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you, Brian. Um, I do have one last thing to say. We did mention the scholarship we are going to have in um, Steve's honor. There is also another scholarship. It's a Sally Kane Memorial Scholarship. If you're not familiar with the Indian bowling scholarships that are available to you, I see so many of you that have so much potential and there's so many opportunities available to you. Get with your coordinator, get with your coach, get with one of us. We would to see you continue through this sport and through college and continue to grow your education and your athletic time out on the lanes. So thank you all so much and good luck today.